ladies and gentlemen, if you can all please be seated. Thank you. Please. <clears throat> now, ladies and gentlemen, we are the members of the Duke's Men Tap class of 2007. We are the re most recent alumni for the most part. And uh, this is traditionally the part of the set uh, where we would come up and, and do sort of a, a funny skit um, or some hijinks. And um, this year we actually have a rather serious matter uh, to discuss with you all. So um, the Duke's Men of Yale Alumni Association convened during intermission for an emergency meeting to address a very serious issue that presented itself during the first act of this concert. <clears throat> Excessive riffing by current members of the group. We have thusly instituted a number of preventative provisions to keep melodic lines intact and basic musical taste standards unimpinged upon. First among these shall be a riff tax governed by the following guidelines. Four cents per deviation from melody. 10 cents per vowel modification. 15 cents per eye closure. <laughs> a sliding scale fine for accompanying gesticulations <clears throat> based upon speed and vigor of arm or head movement. And finally, an extra one-time sum of $14 levied if and when any musical figure from any Whitney Houston recording appears in a folk ballad or spiritual written before 1900. <laughs> Lastly, we have developed unobtrusive shock collars, Mr. Wexler which are currently being distributed to all members backstage. Mr. Sam Shuey will demonstrate the use of such collars. <clears throat> Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Gonna build a mountain, at least I hope I will. Yeah. 